We live here in Alaska and are proud of our own Sarah Palin, who has brought tremendous attention to our state and her hometown of Wasilla. In picking Sarah as his vice presidential nominee, John McCain has shown that truly anyone can grow up to be president. A man who was born the same year the Spanish Civil War started and has battled cancer four times and is hoping to be president himself has told us that our Sarah Palin has the right stuff to fill his term if he can't. While we ourselves aren't sure that Governor Palin is ready to be president, John McCain says he has faith. Mayor and Governor Palin has dealt with many issues in governing a town of close to 9,000 people and a state of 600,000 residents. Reindeer herds, roaming bears, and robust cabbages are time-consuming issues in our state. In her 18 months as governor, she's had to deal with many administrative issues, like getting rid of two police commissioners in less than a month, all the while dealing with a hidden pregnancy, which she successfully concealed for eight months. Palin also had to deal with a pesky state legislature made up of her own party, who has launched a $100,000 special investigation into whether she fired one state official because he wasn't following through on her wish for him to fire her ex-brother-in-law. Sarah has many friends in our state, and she stands by them. Among those friends is our own recently indicted Senator Ted Stevens. She's also had to give up some friends while governor, like her 30-year friendship with State Representative Vic Coring from the town where she served as mayor. Coring got sent to prison after a jury found him guilty of accepting bribes in exchange for his vote. We're proud of Sarah. However, John McCain must see something in Sarah Palin that we can't. We don't think that in these tough times, someone who was in charge of getting potholes filled four years ago should be second in line for the role of Commander-in-Chief. <laughs>